Hey guys, are we here? Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 3 Lesson 9 homework. So let's get started. Number one, make like units and then add. So A, we have 3 fifths plus 1 third. So like units, we need to make units with the same denominator. So to do that, we need to find our least common multiple of 5 and 3 because those are our denominators right now. So let's see. For anything to be a multiple of 5, we know it has to end in a 5 or 0. So we can skip count by 5 until we reach a number that is also divisible by 3. We have 5, 10, 15. 15 is divisible by 3, which means 15 can be our um, new denominator, our least common multiple. That means to get those numbers to 15, we can do 3 fifths times 3 because 5 times 3 is 15. And whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top to make sure it stays equal. So 3 times 3 is 9, and 5 times 3 is 15. So this becomes 9 15 plus, let's see, 1 third multiplied by 5 equals 5 15. So plus 5 15 equals 14 over 15. Oh, that went a bit messy. 15. 14 over 15, so 14 fifteenths would be our answer. B, 30, 3 fifths plus 1 eleventh. Let's see. So, 5 and 11. 11 is like, it can't go into any other number um, that's divisible by 5. Actually, I can't wait. No. 11 can't go into. Right, 5 can't go into 11, or 22, 33, 44, so only 11 times 5. That means um, the number we'll be using would be 55. So to get that number, we need to do 3 fifths times 11 equals 33 or 55. And 1 11 times 5 would be 5 or 55. So 33 over 55 plus 5 over 55 equals 38 over 55. And that cannot be simplified. So this would be our answer. C, 2 ninths plus 5, 6. So 9 and 6, it's our least common multiple here. They are 9, 18, 18, 6 can go to 18. And also, when you're doing these kind of problems, it's really important that you know your multiples and your multiplication facts well. So that it's easier because when you see the numbers, you know what you can know right away their multiples and what might go into both. So 9 and 6, 18 will work. 2 ninths times 2 because 9 times 2 is 18. So 4 eighteenths. And 5 6 times 3 is 15 18. So 4 over 18 plus 15 over 18 equals 19 over 18. Or you can write as 1 1 18. D 2 fifths plus 1 fourth plus 1 tenth. Alright, so we know 5 times 4 is 20, so 20 can work because 10 times 2 is also 20. So 2 fifths times 4 equals 8 over 20. 1 fourth times 5 equals 5 over 20. And 1 tenth times 2 is 2 over 20. So we're adding 8 20 yes, plus 5 20 yes, plus 2 over 20. 8 plus 5 is 13, plus 2 is 15 over 20. But 15 over 20, we can simplify that, divide by 5, which will give us 3 fourths. So that is our answer. E, 1 third plus 7 fifths. 3 and 5, we know 15 is a common den denominator. So I get to 15, 1 third times 5 
is 5 over 15. And 7 fifths times 3 is 21 over 15. So 5 fifteenths plus 21 fifteenths equals 26 over 15, which cannot be simplified. All right, and now for F, 5 eighths plus 7 twelfths. 8 and 12, let's see, we have 8, 16, 24. Oh, you know, 24, 12 can go into 24. So that will be our least common denominator. 5 eighths, to get to 24, we need to multiply by 3. Plus 15, 24. And 7 twelfths times 2 equals 14, 24. Now 15 over 24 plus 14 over 24 equals 29 over 24. Can't be simplified, so this is our answer. All right, next page. G, one one third plus three fourths. So I think I found it easier to write it as um, an improper fraction. One one third. One is a whole, so that's three thirds plus one thirds. So it's more like four thirds plus three fourths. Three and four, we know the least common denominator would be 12. So I'd get that to 12. Four thirds, you know, multiply by four. Well, 16 over 12, and three fourths multiply by three. You get nine over 12. 16 over 12, plus 9 over 12 equals 25 over 12. 25 over 12 is our answer. H, 5, 6, plus 1, 1 fourth. Again, 1 is a whole, so that's 4 fourths plus 1 fourth. Four, 1 fourth, that's 5 fourth. So 4 and 6, we know that's 24. So to get 5, 6 to 24, Multiply by 4, get 20 over 24, and 5 fourths. Multiply by 6, get 30 over 24. Now 20 over 24 plus 30 over 24 equals 50 over 24. You can simplify that, divide that by 2. You get 25 over 12. So that is our answer. For two, on Monday, Ka, is that? I think that's, it's just Ka. Right? Practice guitar for two thirds of an of one hour. When she finished, she practiced piano for three fourths of one hour. How much time did Ka practice? spend practicing instruments on Monday. So two thirds of an hour for guitar plus three fourths for piano. Least common denominator would be 12. So two thirds get to 12 times four. It's eight over 12. And three fourths get that to 12. It's nine twelve. Eight twelves plus nine twelve equals 17 over 12. So 17 over 12 of an hour practicing instruments. All right, number three, Mrs. Howe. Mrs. Howe bought a bag of rice for dinner. She used three fifths kilogram of the rice and still had two one fourth kilogram left. How heavy was the bag of rice Mrs. Howe bought? All right, so this may sound confusing, but what it's really saying is after using that much, she had two and one fourth kilogram left. So we want the original amount. So we just add three fifths plus two and one fourth. Uh, as a mixed fraction, so it's two, so two holes has four fourths plus four fourths is eight over four plus one fourth is nine fourths. 
So our least common denominator would be 20. Means 3 fifth times 4. 12 over 20. And 9 fourth times 5 equals 45 over 20. 12 over 20 plus 45. 20 equals 57 over 20. Which is our final answer. So 57 over 20 kilogram was the weight of the rice. All right, for four, Joe spends two fifths of his money on a jacket and three eighths of his money on a shirt. He spends the rest on a pair of pants. What fraction of his money does he use to buy the pants? All right, so two fifths on jacket plus three eighths on a shirt. First, um, our least common denominator, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So 40. 2 fifth times 8 is 16 over 40. And 3 eighth times 5 is 15 over 40. So now we can add 16, 40, plus 15 over 40 is 31 over 40. But that's not what it's asking for. It's asking for how much money did he use on the pants. It says after spending that amount, the rest is on a pair of pants. So let's see, the whole would be 40 over 40. And he already spent 31 over 40. That means the rest, which is nine over 40, that's how much he spent on pants. So, $9.40, no, nine for it of his money on pants. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.